Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. So we're given f of 2 to the power x plus 1 equals 4 to the power x. And we're going to be finding an expression for f of x in terms of x. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to square 2 to the power x. I'll tell you why in a little bit. When I square this, you know, using the rules of exponents, we are supposed to multiply x and 2, so that gives me 2 to the power 2x. But that can also be written as 2 to the power 2 to the power x because the exponents are multiplied. And now here I can write this as 4 to the power x. So when I square 2 to the power x, I get 4 to the power x. And notice that we have both of them in our expression. So that's the motivation behind this method. Now let's go ahead and square what's inside the parentheses, which is 2 to the power x plus 1. So if you square 2 to the power x plus 1, you're going to get from a plus b quantity squared. We're going to square the sum. That's going to give us a squared plus 2ab, b is 1, plus b squared. Nice. Now, notice that we have 2 to the power x plus 1 inside the parentheses, but on the right-hand side, we're multiplying 2 to the power x times 2. We don't have 2 to the power x plus 1 there. So we would like to have that. So why don't we just go ahead and just, you know, to make it factorable and get 2 to the power x plus 1 from there, we basically need 2 times 2 to the power x plus 1, which is going to be 2 times 2 to the power x plus 2. So I just need to add a 2 and then subtract a 2 from there. Makes sense, right? Okay, great. So we're going to add 1 and subtract 1. Okay, cool. 1 minus 1 equals 0, so this should work. Awesome. Now, this part is basically going to give us what we want. So let's go ahead and rewrite it. 2 to the power x plus 1 quantity squared equals 4 to the power x plus, this can be written as 2 times 2 to the power x plus 1, and then we're going to write minus 1 here. Now, we're going to put everything except for 4 to the power x on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and do the following. In other words, we want to isolate 4 to the power x on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and do it. So I get 2 to the power x plus 1 quantity squared minus 2 times 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 1 equals 4 to the power x. Awesome. So now... This is good because we have 4 to the power x on the right-hand side and 2 to the power x plus 1 inside the parentheses on the left-hand side. So now we can go ahead and replace 4 to the power x with this gigantic expression and keep the left-hand side the same in the original expression. So this is what we get from here. f of 2 to the power x plus 1. Remember, this is equal to 4 to the power x, which is this one. And I'm going to replace it with what's on the left-hand side. So that's going to give me... 2 to the power x plus 1 quantity squared minus 2 times 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 1. Now, this should be pretty obvious at this point, but let me tell you, this is our goal. Uh, we want to get f of something, right? Like f of x, f of z, f of t. So let's go ahead and replace 2 to the power x plus 1 with something. Normally, you're allowed to replace 2 to the power x plus 1 with x, but let me just go ahead and use a different variable because sometimes people are confused when I use the same variable over and over which is okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just replace 2 to the power x plus 1 with t everywhere. So we're going to get the following. f of t equals t squared minus 2t plus 1. By the way, this can be written as t minus 1 quantity squared. Now notice that uh, the t can be replaced with any variable and it doesn't matter. We can use the x again because it's not the same x. So let's go ahead and replace t with x now and that gives us f of x equals x minus 1 quantity squared. And this brings us to the end of the first method. Let me go ahead and talk about the second method. So for my second method, I'll do something similar, obviously, right? There are too many different ways to solve this problem, but it's a slightly different approach. I hope you like it. So Remember, our goal is to get f of x or f of t or f of z, whatever, something. So why not replace this thing with z, right? 2z or not 2z. So this means 2 to the power x plus 1 equals z. And now from here, I want to isolate 2 to the power x, which can be written as z minus 1. Now, remember, the expression on the right-hand side, 4 to the power x, 
can be written as 2 to the power x squared, right? We've done that before. So now we can do the following. Replace 2 to the power x plus 1 with z on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, you have 4 to the power x, which you can replace with 2 to the power x squared. But 2 to the power x is equal to z minus 1. Therefore, you can just replace 4 to the power x with z minus 1 quantity squared. Now, this means that z can be replaced with x again because it's not the same x. Remember, this gives us f of x equals x minus 1 quantity squared. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.